you've got Crohn's or colitis, and if you're thinking about an ostomy or J pouch surgery, if you want to use meditation or yoga to help you on your IBD journey, you are going to love hearing from Ruthie Hannon on the latest episode of the Cheeky Podcast for Moms with IBD. Here in this clip, Ruthie shares a gut healing guided meditation with us. There's lots more of Ruthie's story and Ruthie's interview in the full episode where she shares with us what it was like for her being a young model with a chronic illness while she was living in New York City. She shares the true and often untold information that anybody might need when they're thinking about getting a J pouch or ostomy surgery. Ruthie and I get into how living in the present, living in the now has been hard for both of us, but how it's really a must if you've had a traumatic IBD experience or experiences. We talk about the stages of chronic illness, grief, and how they aren't really stages at all, but more about feelings that can creep up, can crop up on us at any time. And coming up in this clip, Ruthie shares the second of two beautiful and profound gut healing meditations that were from the episode. Take a deep breath, mama, get comfortable, and get ready to feel Ruthie's inspirational words. They're going to just flow through you. Okay, so just coming back to that comfortable position, if you're sitting with your feet on the ground, just really feeling your feet on the ground, closing the eyes if you feel safe to do so, and taking that same cleansing breath, full inhale, and full exhale. And just letting the crown of your head lift up slightly toward the ceiling and just feeling the length of your spine. As you start to settle back into your body, just coming back to your heart. Feeling once again that unique rhythm that your heart has. Remembering that connection that your heart has to your mind, to your senses. And now remembering the connection that your heart has to your stomach. And just feeling all that love and energy that's in the heart and how that is directly connected, passing through the lungs and coming into all the organs in your stomach. And now you can gently place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly, wherever it feels called to go, just trusting where your hands naturally fall. And now just feeling this connection of your palms to your body. So feeling how your heart is beating into your hand and also how your hand is beating back into your heart. Feeling maybe the rise of your belly as you breathe in into your hand and the fall as you breathe out. Or maybe even feeling a heartbeat in your stomach that's pulsing into your hand and your right hand pulsing back into your stomach. And now just feeling the love from your heart just enter into your hand naturally and travel up the left arm come into the left shoulder, across the collarbones, down the right arm, through the right wrist, into the right hand, and into the belly. I'm just feeling this circuit that you've just created, connecting your heart to your belly, 
in two ways now, a direct line through the inside of your body and your torso, and now from the outside, from your hands, through the heart in your hands. And just allow your stomach to receive this healing from your own heart. Notice if there's any resistance to it and know that that is okay too. Trust that you will always receive what you are meant to receive when you are meant to receive it. And just stepping out of your own way as you feel ready to receive and to heal. So whenever you feel ready to do so, you can slowly let your palms find each other now. Feel all of that energy just settle within your stomach. Let it be absorbed into the organs, into the cells of your body. And feeling this love just feeding into each palm. as you take a deep and conscious breath in, once again, feeling yourself fill up, letting yourself fill up. And as you exhale, just slowly letting the head bow. And once again, just bowing to the source you've come from, bowing to the inspiration and guidance around you, bowing to everyone in this space who's completed this alongside you. And most importantly, bowing to yourself for listening, for choosing to show up, and just for being here. May this practice continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. And may you bring the same love and understanding into everything that you do and to everyone that you see. Namaste. Namaste. <sighs> Thank you, Ruthie. Thank you so Thank much. you, Karen. Mm, don't you just love that? Oh my goodness, love it. You can hear my whole interview with Ruthie where she shares more about her ulcerative colitis and J-pouch journey wherever you get your podcasts. There's little nuggets, words of wisdom throughout the episode. I know you're going to love it. Links are just below this video if you want to check it out. Don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to hear more from the Cheeky Podcast, you have to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell and then you'll know every time a new video drops. Until we meet again, I'm wishing you a cheeky and healthy IBD healing journey. Chat soon. <laughs>